Hello and welcome to another episode of Historically Mart. I am Jason. I'm just about not even a few miles um, northeast of Chester, Illinois, but I'm about to take you to a covered bridge, which is one of the very few in southern Illinois that is standing. And um, it's very historical, and also I shall show you the markers here, so here we go. All right, so this is a roadside park off of Illinois Route 150. There's like picnic areas, like that table right there. And here is the Mary's River Covered Bridge. There's three markers here, but the one I'm mostly going to be focusing on is the one that is beneath or below that sign, which says Chester, Kaskaskia, Illinois. All right, so down here it says built in 1854 and continuous service from 1854 to 1930. It was originally part of a plank toll road between Bremen and Chester. Bremen is a small town just up that way. All the timber in the bridge is the original, with the exceptions of the floor, floor joist, roof, and siding, acquired by the state of Illinois in 1936 for purposes of preservation and a picnic area. Money for purchase of site was donated by Chester Chamber of Commerce. And as you can see, it is not um, for vehicular use, pedestrians only, which is cool. And Kind of like the one I visited in Greenup, Illinois. There are some graffiti here on there. Going back to 2008 and 2011. This was built by Wilhelm Misselhorn from Germany. It was rehabilitated in 1954, which of course was 100 years after it was originally built. It was again renovated by the state of Illinois in 2005. So the structure that I'm currently walking in only is like 16 years old. But that's cool because they knew what they were doing and yeah <laughs> it was dedicated on june 10th 2005 this has a 90 foot span and what was not mentioned on the marker was it was added to the national register of historic places on new year's eve of 1974. now covered bridges were common in a lot of areas especially during the 19th century because you know people didn't want to waste time um, rebuilding the bridges and of course at that time you know they used a lot of um, non-reliable materials and so instead of um, fixing them they made them into covered bridges so whenever they were damaged they're like eh we'll cover them <laughs> and this here is where it ends into a farm field And let's uh, take a look at Mary's River, which is just down here. Why oh, would you look at that? Oh man, when the water meets rocks, that's just pretty cool. <laughs> so some sources, including the Great River Road Travel website, they say this is the only covered bridge in Southern Illinois. And I can already tell you, it is not true. If you saw my Cumberland County Covered Bridge video, the one I did from Greenville, I'm sorry, Green Up from the National Road, yeah, I mean, that's considered Southern Illinois. There's also one in my hometown, Glen Carbon, but that was a new, that's a newer one that was built um, the year of the Bicentennial, 1976. And that one was kind of not a, a non-traditional one. So, and interestingly, I'm standing on planks but it's very interesting because as the marker says, yes, you needed to pay money or tolls to cross this bridge. And just remember, a lot of agriculture, a lot of goods were transported through this bridge like 200 years ago. Well, almost 200 years ago, but <laughs> 19th century. So yeah, I mean, very, uh, very cool, very historic. I'm glad the state of Illinois has done a lot to help preserve this bridge and of course I can't really give them all the full credit there's also the city of Chester as well thank you so much for tuning into this episode of historically Mart. I am Jason just outside the Mary's River covered bridge outside Chester Illinois sign off <laughs>